Movies can be art. And I got into filmmaking not only to tell stories and to entertain, but to express myself and bring meaning to the moving picture and what I put in front of it. My name is Howard Mitchell, but when I'm working, I go by Howard Elgato Mitchell. Yeah, I'm a filmmaker and an artist living in Portland. The name of this film is Forgive Us Our Debts. And uh, the description basically, I would say, is about a young man uh, around 12 or 13 years old, experiencing for the first time the sense of losing his home and how he's dealing with it. I like digging into things underneath humanity, things that go, that's not said often, or what we try to cover up, or some things that are resistant to change. And so it's important to me that, uh, to kind of, to do what I can to uncover it. It's interesting when you deal with uh, a subject like gentrification and, and how uh, you can use it as a narrative what you tend to do, whether you know it or not, is you're pressing buttons and you're creating trigger points. And often people uh, go into their reserved spaces of uh, political identifications and things like that. And it's important that uh, when you tell a story like this, you, you ground it with humanity where we all connect and understand that we're dealing with human beings and people. I chose Trey and the idea of looking through the eyes of a young black boy because when you do that, you are disarmed from uh, how you're seeing things and we, you're literally put in his shoes. I like to deal with symbolism a lot. It's just that struggle of not wanting to explain it, even though I want to, but it's important that the audience does the work as well. I'm just interested in bringing up questions uh, that we all should be thinking about. And, and if I do it in the right way, that my work speaks to us first emotionally and then it resonates with them later intellectually.